Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I would like to finally give you my final review of the uh, brushes that I purchased from M-Brush by Maxineshka a while back. In my demo and first impressions, which I'm going to leave up in the cards here for you if you would like to check it out, I did demo and talk a little bit about the uh, brushes that I had bought at the time. In the meantime, I did buy a couple more of her eye brushes and face brushes. I don't have that many in total. First of all, because they're quite expensive and second of all, because I have already a very large brush collection and I wanted to be quite selective about the type of brushes that I buy and I wanted to be able to choose brushes that are going to be more unique to my collection so I didn't buy a lot of like the more standard type of brushes that I already have so I'm going to show you the brushes that I have I'm going to insert short clips of me using both the eye brushes and the face brushes and we're going to talk about each of the brushes individually so that I can share my um, thoughts on each of the brushes and how I use them just in case you missed my demo and first impressions video where I did introduce the brand a little bit just in a few words, M-Brush is a Polish brand because it was started by a very famous Polish blogger slash vlogger whose name is, uh, well I don't really know her name but her like an Instagram and YouTube, YouTube name is Maxineshka and I'm going to leave her YouTube channel in the description box below for you if you would like to check it out. Just keep in mind that uh, the videos are only in Polish. The brushes are sold on Minty Shop, which is also a Polish online makeup shop, so you cannot really find them anywhere else aside from this website. Be warned that the website is in Polish, so you're going to have to navigate your way throughout the website in a different language if you... Um, want to purchase these brushes. I must say personally I didn't struggle much with navigating through the website. It was very clear to me uh, what type of brush it is, how I can add it to my cart and how I can uh, check out. The shipping within Europe was quite reasonable. I'm not sure what the shipping rates would be like if you would like to purchase from across the ocean like somewhere further away like the US or Australia. That being said, the reason I purchased these brushes is because I have been very curious about Japanese brushes for a really long time. Uh, brands like Chikuhudo, Hakuhudo, the Wayne Goss brushes, they're all made in Japan with, with very high quality either gold hair or squirrel hair and they have like these, like they're handmade, they have these beautiful handles, everything about these brushes is a piece of art. But these brushes are unfortunately not really sold anywhere online or in store in Europe to my knowledge. If you have different information, please do share because I would love to try these brands out as well. Unfortunately, I was not able to find any of them available to me and when I read that M-Brush by Maxineshka is basically the European version of Hakuhudo because that's the rumor, I immediately jumped on it because I just wanted to try the um, Japanese quality brushes. That being said, please keep in mind, I do not own quite obviously, any Hakuhudo brushes or Wengos brushes or any of these really high tier um, Japanese handmade brushes, so I can't really make comparisons unfortunately for you. All I can tell you is that to me these brushes feel like good quality brushes that are like a step higher at least from my Zueva brushes which is my standard for good makeup brushes and I can tell you that they do feel like a lot of um, attention, thought, and um, handcrafting has gone into them. I can't really vouch for the gold hair. These brushes are made of gold hair, at least the whole line that I've seen so far is only gold hair, like white gold hair. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you for sure that the gold hair that you're going to get on these brushes is much, much, much higher quality compared to um, Zueva brushes, for example, because I if I compare, I feel like these brushes are a little bit softer and a bit better quality, but they're not a hundred times better. That being said, I don't know whether Hakuhudo brushes are a hundred times better either. Let me just show you for reference how these brushes look like. I'm going to grab one of the, her eye brushes and one of her uh, face brushes. The brushes are really beautiful. They have absolutely gorgeous handles. I don't know whether you can see. This one, for instance, comes from a collection that has these beautiful burgundy red um, handles. I've shown in my original video the type of packaging they come into. They're all individually packaged quite lavishly in like these beautiful um, red or black carton boxes, so the packaging is quite luxurious. You can see the uh, logo of the company here on the brush as well as... Is it? Oh yeah. You can also find the number of each brush on the handle. The ferrules are 
coated with gold. This is one of her uh, face brushes. You can see the same thing. The handle is just a little bit bigger. Again, the logo. You have the um, number of the brush on the handle. They feel very sturdy. The ferrule is gold. All the eye brushes that I have, which are primarily blending brushes and like this little detail um, shader brush, all these brushes are in the range of, let's say, 15 to 20 euros. That's on the expensive side, but at the same time, they are not so much more expensive than individual Zueva brushes. The face brushes, on the other hand, which I have four of, they were all in the range of at least 25 to 35 euros. So they are quite expensive. I purchased this one individually. This is a highlighter brush. And um, these three brushes, for instance, came in a set. A few general thoughts about these brushes. I'm not gonna lie to you, I really enjoy all of them. I use them on a daily basis. Uh, a lot of you recommended in my demo and first impressions video that because these brushes are made of such high quality gold hair, I shouldn't uh, wash them every single time after I use them, which is what I normally do with my uh, Zoeva brushes. I've tried to restrain myself as much as possible, especially with the face brushes. I feel like if I use my microfiber cloth to uh, clean these off a little bit after I use them, I can get away with not cleaning them for, let's say, about a week, a week and a half, but after that I really start to itch to clean them because I just cannot look at them all stained in different colors. Not to mention that, in my personal opinion, even if you uh, clean off the powder on the microfiber cloth, the more product gets stuck into the brushes, the more scratchy they become and the more unpleasant to use. So I do like to wash my brushes at least once, one and once in uh, at least once in two weeks, just so um, I clean them off a little bit and then they become soft and more pleasant to use. I haven't had any problems with any of these brushes shedding, even though I've washed them on a fairly regular basis. None of them has lost its shape. None of them has started to like fray or look weird or lose its quality. And I've had these brushes since. September, November. So I have used them for over a half year by now and I can tell you that the quality of these brushes remains pretty stable over time even with heavy use. I'm going to insert short clips of me somewhere on the screen where I use each of these brushes just to show you a little bit how I personally like to incorporate them into my daily makeup routine. Obviously you can use some of these brushes for multiple purposes. So the first brush that I want to show you and the one that is probably my personal favorite from the uh, eye brushes is this one. This is a very big blending brush. This is the uh, brush in number five. This kind of brush is very very handy if you are someone like me who has quite a lot of space here in between your moving lid and your brow bone just because any other smaller type of blending brush still takes uh, some time until you blend out your eyeshadow from here all the way up till here. Whereas because this one has such a massive size to it. Just for reference, this is one of the more like standard sized blending brushes that you will find in a lot of other brands. This one is also by M Brush, but just for size comparison, you can see how much more massive the number 5 is. I absolutely love this brush. It's a little bit tapered here on the top, so you can pick up product product and then you can blend it out very easily and very nicely. I absolutely love this brush. I use it quite a lot and to be honest with you this is one of the brushes that I would like to have a backup of because this is very unique to my collection. Let's go on to the uh, other blending brush, so the somewhat smaller blending brush. This is the number 11 which looks like this. Like I said this is a more standard type of blending brush. Just for comparison purposes this is one of my favorite blending brushes from Zueva. This is the 228 brush and you can see that the 228 is just maybe slightly bigger, but in terms of, I think, size and ways of use, these brushes are quite comparable. So this is your standard type of uh, fluffy blending brush. I do really like this brush. Um, I think that you can use these a little bit interchangeably. This is a really lovely brush. You can definitely use this brush to also blend out your transition color just like you would the number 5 brush. It's just that for my personal eye shape, I feel like the number 5 is a little bit quicker. This one is absolutely lovely still. You can use it for uh, crease work, you can use it to put um, a wash of color on your lid and then blend it out. This is a pretty standard brush, there's nothing more I can say about it. Now we go on to the brush that I have two of because this is also a very unique brush in my personal collection and that is the um, number 12. So I have two of them just to show you that um, they look fairly the same. So you do get 
the same type of brush if you order two of them, even though they're handmade. They are going to be, of course, small differences because these brushes are handmade, but for the most part, you're getting the same type of brush. So this brush is a very small, pointy, detailed type of crease brush. This is a very multifunctional brush because I personally like to use this brush for pecking on color in my outer corner and then uh, blending it out a little bit more concentrated in my outer corner. You can also use it to blend out your uh, lower lash line. You can use this to blend out cut creases if you're into that. This is a very nice, multifunctional, very unique brush. I don't think a lot of companies offer this type of small pointed type of crease brush and I'm really happy with my purchase with this one. And the final eye brush that I have from uh, M brush is the number 20. The number 20 is a small shader detailer sort of brush. This is a very small, densely packed, stiff sort of shader brush. So you can use this brush also for quite a lot of things. You can use it uh, for inner corner highlights. You can use it for... I don't know, brow bone highlighting, you can use to cut your crease, you can use it on your lower lash line. This is also a very multifunctional brush. A lot of companies offer these type of brushes, so I wouldn't necessarily say this is the most unique brush you can get from M brush, but it is a very nice brush and I do like me small detail shader brushes, so I did want to try this one. And now let's move on to the face brushes where I want to start with my favorite and the one that I bought separately and not in a set. This is the uh, number 24. This is... Uh, my favorite highlighter brush of all time. I don't know whether you can tell, but this brush has a very, very nice, like, taper to it. So the, the uh, bristles have, like, different layers to them, and then they taper towards the um, end of the brush. There is something about the shape of this brush and the bristles that is able to... Um, pick up and blend out highlighter on your face so beautifully, no matter the formula. I've tried this brush with pretty much every highlighter formula that I have in my collection, ranging from like really creamy soft highlighters to very chunky glittery highlighters such as the ABH formula. And I have to say that this brush has not failed me one single time. It without a fail manages to uh, apply my highlighter so beautifully. This is definitely a brush that I will be getting a backup of because even though I love a lot of my other highlighter brushes and I have a lot of highlighter brushes, I do feel like this is a very unique brush in my collection and I do think it is worth getting a backup of. I love this brush so much. And the final three brushes I want to talk about are the ones that came in a set, like I mentioned. She does have a lot of sets, not only individual brushes, so you can always uh, opt to purchase one of her sets because it will in the long run be uh, of course a lot cheaper compared to her individual brushes. All of these individually are in the range of 30 euros so I bought them for 80, well not 80, the original price is 80 euros, I bought them I think at least 15 or 20 percent off because of Black Friday. I'm going to start this uh, with my least favorite brush and the one that I don't really know what to use for. It's the brush 09 and I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to use this brush for. It's sort of like a dense flat petal brush. Like, if you were going to apply your eyeshadow with it, this would be a packing sort of brush. Like the one that you would pack the color on your lid with. And I am not quite sure what I'm supposed to use this brush for. If any of you have any information about this, please do let me know in the comments below. Because the only thing I've ever been able to use this brush for is highlighter. Um, it's too dense and too stiff for um, blush. I don't like it for bronzer. I did try once to apply my concealer with it, but I don't like using uh, concealer with brushes because it tends to make the concealer much drier on my eyes. I am a bit at a loss what I should be using this brush for. If any of you know, please, please, please let me know. The remaining two brushes are two that I absolutely love. The first one is the uh, number 02, which is sort of like a round, fluffy brush. I use this brush mainly for applying my bronzer with it. This brush, just like the highlighter brush, I feel like is a brush that can work across different formulas. Because I've tried it with a variety of different bronzers and bronzers that I've had to like switch up brushes for because not every brush would, in my collection would work with. But I think this one works pretty much with every type of bronzer formula that I have in my collection. This picks up bronzer really well. It blends it out beautifully onto your skin. It's really, really soft. I absolutely love this brush. 
And the final brush I want to talk about is my favorite one from the face set that I purchased. This is the number 04. This is definitely a very, very unique brush in my collection. I have absolutely nothing like it. This brush has somewhat longer uh, bristles to it. They're not very densely packed, so it's a little bit sparse, but not too sparse. And I purchased this brush because I thought it would be absolutely beautiful for applying your blush a little bit more diffusely and that is what I use it for. A lot of my other blush brushes are very densely packed so you pack a lot of color on and I feel like the way you blend out the blush is very different from the way this brush blends out your blush. This brush blends out your blush. Wow, that was a mouthful. Um, I feel like this is a very... If you, if you are looking for a more subtle way of applying your blush, I feel like this is the type of brush you should go for. In addition to that, this brush works absolutely beautifully for application of highlighter. So this is another multifunctioning brush because I'm pretty sure you can also use it to... I don't know, powder your face, powder your under eyes, whatever you want. I've had to pick my three favorite brushes from everything that I've purchased from Man Brush. These are going to be the three that I choose for. So this is the number 05 a big blending brush, the highlighter brush, which was the number 24, and the number 04 blush brush. I call it a blush brush, but I think you can use it for whatever purpose you feel. I had a nagging feeling that I was forgetting to show you something, and I was totally right. Once I started... Uh, editing the video I realized that I forgot one of my eye brushes so here we are on a different day because I just really wanted to show you this brush because I actually really like it this is the number 06 and this is a blending brush essentially this is a dupe for the MAC 217 brush I have a pretty ancient MAC 217 brush here to show you just for comparison purposes these are the types of blending brushes that have a bit more of like a flatter shape to them and they're a bit more um, tapered, so you can see that the two brushes are essentially quite similar. The brush by uh, Maxi Neshka is just slightly bigger and I do like it a little bit more because at this point my Mac 217 is quite old and quite scratchy. This is an excellent multitasker brush in the sense that this is the... if you're the type of person that is like a one and done type of makeup, you are going to love this brush because essentially as also you're going to see in the demo, this is the type of brush that you can use to blend out and pack color on your eyelid. I absolutely love this brush and I think it is... Um, one of the most functional brushes that you can have in your collection. Like I said, I can't vouch for the quality of these brushes being equal to Hakahudo, but I personally am really pleased with them. I'm definitely going to buy backups of some of my favorite brushes, and if she continues coming out with interesting uh, shapes, I will definitely be interested in purchasing them. Did any of you actually purchase any of these brushes in the meantime? I'm super curious to hear what your opinion is. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!